Hey, it's me again. <laughs> I made that last video and I realized there was a couple things I forgot to add to it. And so, this will be COD Mod Quick Tip. COD Die in 2.0. That sounds good. <laughs> what am I smoking? Same thing as last time. Truck butt, ECA. Um, and what I forgot to mention is, if you want that rusticated look that comes on uh, the Country Gentleman or the... Like Dagner Cobb, well, the Cobbit series. Um, you just dye the cob black, and then you sand it back. <laughs> like a little wrap. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. But, yeah, that's all you do. Um, it's just like if you're doing a contrast stain on, like, on a briar pipe, if you're doing a restoration, or on, like, wood projects where you see people, you know, pop the grain on that. They just dye it. Some of it absorbs deeper into certain areas, and then when you sand it, the stuff that doesn't absorb as much... You sand it off, and you're left with that kind of pattern. So that's how you do that. Um, and along with dyeing, sometimes if you dye a color, and it's not quite what you want, but it's around the ballpark, you can kind of sometimes sand that cob, and it'll either lighten that color a little bit as you take some of it off, or like if you want to do a nose warmer, and you want to do like an rustication kind of look, but in a different color. For whatever reason like on that the brown pipe or the mahogany or whatever color you're looking for but you just want to sand it back a little bit that'll lighten it up and you almost get kind of the same effect if you sand it real good as you would with the, the black um cobs that they rusticate hope that makes sense <laughs> um the other thing too is sometimes the color like let's say you you put one coat you put a, you dye the cob and it comes out a little bit lighter than you want, you can, you absolutely can put another um, layer of dye in there if you would like to. Um, some colors that will actually darken it quite a bit. Um, the mahogany is a big one. If you actually do two coats, that second coat really darkens it. So that you got to be a little careful with because you might get darker than you want. But like I said, you can always sand some off. And a lot of times that will lighten it up. And sometimes really neat effects can happen because of mistakes. <laughs> so there you go. I think I pretty much got everything I could think of now. So, you guys have a great, great Tuesday.